Okay, I'm going to wrap up. Brad Pitt and I founded something called Make It Right, and um, USGBC had the uh, wisdom to award our executive director yesterday an award for it because it's a very special project. And when Brad first asked me if I wanted to do something together in New Orleans, I said yes. And he said, well, let's do a house, cradle to cradle house in, in Lower Ninth Ward. And I said, well, that wouldn't be enough. It would be kind of sad and lonely. They don't have any infrastructure. I mean, a school bus. Let's do 150. So I think we have, and uh, Rick, you tell me if I'm wrong, but I think we have the largest gathering of lead platinum houses anywhere in one place. Well, in one place. And we're very proud of this because we got on to the work. And Brad is probably the best person to describe it. I think we have a, um, his voice sent to us for this. Bill and I first came together and collaborated on a project after Hurricane Katrina to rebuild a neighborhood that had been hardest hit in New Orleans. We wanted to base this project on the cradle-to-cradle -cradle principles put forth in Bill's book. And, and it was our belief that for this new technology to work, that it couldn't just be a rich man's toy, but it had to be proven at a low-income level, that it had to be available for everybody. And I must say, the result has far exceeded my expectations. And something very important came out of it, something that Bill always spoke about. And that was that this idea of sustainability, why we're all here today, is, is something that goes far beyond eco-efficiency or high-performance technology. But it is truly an issue of social justice. It is about dignity. It is about building with respect for the people who will use or inhabit what we do um, for their neighbors and for the world at large. And it's time has come. Rick was right. It's about being right. And it's about rights. If we look at the history of rights in the United States, we go to Magna Carta, as Jefferson did. He read Anglo-Saxon. And we look at the rights of noble males. We look at his Declaration of Independence, 1776, the rights of white, landowning, Protestant males, 6% of the population. We look at the Emancipation Proclamation. Then we see the 19th Amendment. Welcome aboard, ladies, 1920. We see the Indian Citizenship Act in 1924, and then the Civil Rights Acts of the 60s. And then in 1973, under President Nixon, the first time something other than a human is given the right to even exist. The Endangered Species Act. Do you see the trend here? We are giving the world the right to exist but we are also looking at ourselves and saying, what is our ability to be a tool of nature to help this benefit occur because we've been so destructive? So we're doing a building in Barcelona where not only the floor plans triangles, but we are basing their tile patterns on the wings of the ancient butterflies of Barcelona. But the lobby decor is a double wall that's a butterfly hatchery. And every week the chrysalis are released by children on the outside of the building back to the city of Barcelona to restore the endangered butterflies. What if a building could restore biodiversity, not be less bad, be more efficient? What if it was a gift and it fluttered away uselessly, but beautifully? Tom Dard and I have recently been given the license to create the content for the first, tele first telecom channel in China that is private. We, we are doing this. It's for these children. And the first thing you see is what they have in common. They're all alone. They have no families. This is third generation single child law. They have no cousins, no brothers, no sisters. They're going to have a smartphone. Think about that. How do we love these children? And we think about people like Sal Khan, and we think about ways to get the things to the children that they need so that we can love these children, all of them, and put our arms around them, and bring them into the world gracefully, and connect them to each other, and celebrate that creativity. Because the question is, 
How do we become indigenous people once again? How do we become native to this planet? How do we become in relationship with each other? This is home. Now, I know NASA is ready to go to Mars, but it's going to take a while. So let's get back to work. This is home right here. Is that our footprint? Oh, and we talk about making it a little smaller or something? How about lots of little tiny footprints everywhere? And the world gets better everywhere you go. Think about that. The point is, what does it mean to be native to a place? We're not leaving. At the Hanford Nuclear Plant, they had a symposium, DOE, of scientists and semiologists to study how to mark the ground where we've stored our plutonium so that even an extraterrestrial 5,000 years from now wouldn't dare to dig. We're designers here. What's the sign of extreme danger? And the Yakima, who were there for another meeting, heard the scientists were doing this, and they started laughing. And they said, you know, you really don't need to worry about this. We'll tell them where it is. <laughs> they weren't leaving. So what do we do when we decide to stay? What's next? What's next is what's next. We start to think about it. And the people here worrying about healthy products, thank goodness to all of us to work together and move this up and move it up and up until we can celebrate the idea not of the limits of the world or our imaginations, not about the limits of carbon energy or limits of clean water. No, we want the endless resourcefulness of energy. That comes from the sun. And we want the endless resourcefulness of materials, and we have them in safe cycles of endless reuse. And we have the endless resourcefulness of all the children. Because in the end, it's going to be a question of the celebration of human creativity and whether we can rise to this occasion. And the people in this room and the people at this conference, led by Rick's statement at the opening session, are right. Be confident. And we know we need to be humble. It will take us all. And it will take forever. But that is the point. Thank you.